What does this all mean? What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And this is a midday, about a one o'clock Eastern time update. And wanted to let everybody know what I was thinking about the markets and what I see going on here. And of course, what are we seeing right now? We're seeing the markets calm down. We had an ex a huge explosion last night with the Dow up over 400, the S&P up over 50 points, the Russell exploding, the Nasdaq exploding, oil going to the moon, the grains, everything couldn't be better, right? Everything was, everybody was happy and it was all happy, happy to be there. Of course, we talked about this last week and this could be the result. You had this compression and then you had this explosion. Well, interesting enough, okay, the markets went right to a resistance level. Unfortunately for me, my algorithms turned over for some of the longer term stuff, which turned long, but that's the way life goes. But in the meantime, in the short term, it isn't a major surprise that we're seeing a little bit of selling pressure here. And I get selling pressure is, is, is all, you know, what you look at. I mean, the markets were up 400 or almost 500. They're now up about 250. So again, we could certainly turn around and rally from here or we could continue to sell off. I think the key to watch here is the VIX and the Russell. The Russell was up big, and then it was down big, and then it's now back up again right now. So I think it's something to watch out for. And there's a couple of things that are a little bit concerning from a market standpoint. Why is gold up at 1240 trying to break out? There is no fear. And again, I'm not a fear believer that gold is a fear asset, but usually the street thinks that way. So gold is right up there pushing against that 1240 resistance. The grains, as I texted out last night to my guys, they were much higher, and I said, if you had multiples, I would take some off the table way up there because we have seen about a, we've seen about a 50 to 60% sell-off back in the grain markets. Now, again, I'm still very positive grains. I think they're going higher. The sell-off was no surprise. Again, anytime you see one of these gaps or blow-off type openings, either up or down, you want to usually look to get on the other side if you can. I think that was exactly what happened. Oil ran up to almost 54-hour target, almost got us back in again, but of course it is settling down a little bit. But again, we'll still look at that 54 to sell. We'll th we think it'll probably consolidate here between you know 49.50 and 55 or so, somewhere in those areas. And again, we want to sell towards the upper end of that range. The the overall bullish bearishness in oil has not changed. Okay, the markets have not changed. We are still in this wide consolidation bend. Now we're at a key critical point in markets. We could break out to the upside and have that big Santa Claus rally, or it's possible the tops could be in. Now, again, the stuff I use, the algorithms I use on a weekly basis have indicated that this market should be a buy here. So again, it, it, it's, it's how you look at it from a short term, from a trader standpoint, four to five minutes, I'm looking for spots to short, but overall, it would not surprise me if we go, again, we can go either way from here. And I think that's something that you have to understand. Stay away from the news, okay? The news, they're talking about this like the market will never go down again. They're talking about like there's never any going to be any problems here. Well, again, we continue to bang the drum that the Fed is going to screw it up. That's number one, okay? They're going to, the interest rate market is going to start to take off. Now, interest rates were higher. They turned around and they've gone lower again. We've seen a, a rally in the treasuries. So, again, but the interest rate market, if the, if the economy is strong, interest rates have to rise it's a simple plan. It's simple. It has to happen because if it's really strong, there's going to be a more of a de demand for money. It's the, the interest rate market is almost the opposite of the crude oil market. Right now, we have a glut of crude, which is why crude continues to go lower. We're not fundamental traders, but of course, that's what you see. And that's why the footprint is leading to the downside. Interest rates, if there's going to be growth and a demand for money, well, then rates are going to have to go higher. It's, it's pretty much as simple. It's, just, it's as simple as that. I don't want to make it that simple. But it is just that simple. So again, I could see the markets going either way from here. I think you want to look to sell the top end of these rallies and, and look to buy the bottom. If you want to trade it, I think we're going to be a little bit of a trading range here. Volume is still relatively light. Now, volume was really light overnight until we had that little bit of a sell-off this morning where we saw some buy come in. So remember, that's what the markets are telling you. When the volume comes in, that's when the markets want to go lower. The VIX is much lower. So again, Watch the VIX, watch the volume. Keep an eye on the Russell because that is a pretty good indicator of where markets are thinking. If, they're, if they feel that they're going to be strong, the Russell's going to rally. If they feel that there's going to be some weakness, the Russell's going to sell off. The cryptocurrencies, under a little bit of pressure. They were higher earlier. 
they're coming down a little bit. Again, I think you watch this. I think that they're, they're real. They're spectacular, as I continue to say. I'm not selling mine. I will buy some more because I think that that they're going to be real. Now, whether or not I'm going to buy the right ones, or as my grandmother used to say, am I going to bet on the crooked horse? That I don't know. But in the meantime, I'll, ha I'll keep a few in inventory and see what happens. And of course, somebody asked me about silver. I'm a buyer of silver. I kind of buy a little bit of silver all the time. I, I continue to, I, I talk about gold a lot, but I'm also a buyer of silver. So in the meantime, again, I, I urge you to be cautious. Not Do not chase the market in either direction. Remember, it's better to wish you were in a trade than to wish you weren't. I think it's a a 20% chance this market can break down today a little bit and come lower, or we can then spike out to the upside. But I think 20% chance says you could see a little bit of a sell-off into the end of the day. That's the way I see it. This is Todd Bubba Horvitz, Bubba Zelli Update. And of course, I want to remind you, if you want to get your free book, Gold is a Better Way, from my friend Adam Barada from Advantage Gold, you can go to bubbatrading.com forward slash gold. And of course, our high school investing program, we need some help. If you'd like to help us out, go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And of course, Monday Night Football, I can't believe I lost that Pittsburgh game last night. You want to think about a bad beat. But tonight, we got Philadelphia against Washington. Washington is crippled. We're going with Washington, and we're going with Washington for a couple of pizzas and a couple of beers. That's the way I see it. This is Bubba's Midday Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more from Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great day, everybody. See you later.